Good morning. My name is Wes Lee and I work on band instruments of all kinds. Today I took in this lovely, lovely King Zephyr Barry Sax. Man, it's in great condition. Look at this lacquer. It's not without its problems. We got dents down in here. Key guards are bent, but they're there. The body is bent. Let's see if I can get a where you can see that. Pretty close. You can see it going off to the right there. So we got to straighten that out. But the lacquer on his body too. Pearls are still there. Key guard's still there. Thumb ring's not worn out. Look, and it still has the cool. I love this about these old horns. It's got the little nuts, so that the nut acts as a lock when you put the, when you drive the pivot screw in, then you can lock it in place. I just love that. The bell is in really pretty good shape. It's got some dings and dents around here. Let's see if we can angle this camera. Yeah, you can see the slight bend in it here. Just. There was some, so we just need to bring it back. Boom, boom. Send this back this way a little bit. Gooseneck's really in good shape. Yeah, these keys are bent. So the plan for this instrument is to get the, a lot of these reachable dents through this section and around the bell out. We'll get the body straightened back up to where it goes the way it should. Kim flushed, repadded, new corks. Ultimate playing condition is the is what we're after here. This is a school-owned instrument. Um, man, I can't believe the great shape that this is in. So our job is to make this play like it's supposed to play because it hasn't played like it's supposed to play in a really long time. So I can't wait to dive in on this. Come join along. So this stuff is, this is rubber, hard rubber. It's going to keep, when when this falls, it'll keep from marring the lacquer, messing up the finish. Now you can see that that rod is, these rods are straight all the way through here. See, stack rod is going to come. These are all connected on this instrument. So this is all nice and straight now. And see all the binding is gone from these keys. See right in this area is where we had the tool mounted and there's no marring from this from this hard rubber. Great stuff. Excellent cushion between the tools.
All right, got it torn down. Here you can see how much dirt and grime and green is on it. Lots of corrosion. Now notice this is the bell brace. So this is where the instrument was bent. And when we pulled it back, you can see just a little bit of a scar there. But when it was pushed in, that's what got that tone hole, and that's what got that tone hole. So we'll have to round those out. Time to get it in the chem flush. Only thing left to do is everything. All right, so we're back after the chem flush. A far cry. Looks way better. All that corrosion is gone. All the dust and stuff that had built up is gone. Nice clean brass, nice clean lacquer. This looks really, really good here. Let's start on the dent work. Got the bell dents out of this real nice. Didn't have to go this far, but the horn just really deserves it. So I wanted to make this as clean as possible. Now here, even though the solder joints are all still intact, you can see that there's dents on all three sides of this guard. Luckily, uh, just a little bit is taken from this tone hole here. It's actually pretty darn level, amazingly enough. So I want to do this without marring up the finish. I can put a little more. A little more juice on that. And let's see. From here, we're gonna use the magnetic dent tools to get down in the, into the bow of that.
once again it's not exactly what the customer was paying for but it's what the instrument needs and deserves this is going to be a great horn Not just for sousaphones. So this post was soldered on at the wrong angle and then there's a there's a, a gap in the body. So, oh yeah that goes all the way through. So that's a huge reason why this one wouldn't play as well. See, now you can't get through. So look at that, surprisingly enough, that puts that right back in the right spot. This makes it straight. See, so it comes from halfway up the body. So this is all straight now. Hmm. this rider post will have to come back over this way a little bit this one probably but this post is actually in the in the right spot so we'll seal up the body Well, it's the end of the long work day and we're going to call it for today, putting a lid on it. So we were able to get the body disassembled, get it all chemical flushed, um, repair the tone hole down here, repair the bracing, get these joints soldered, get the bell dents out, the bow dents over here, and fix the body and seal it the tube up back here next time we'll be working on tone holes getting those cleaned and leveled out I think I've got some other solder work to do here that I'll probably take care of off camera thanks for following along today I'll see you next time around